while I'm waiting to get the exhaust flanges back we're going to sort all the plumbing out for the oil and coolant to the turbo and back to and from the engine so plumbing we need to get an oil drain on so the plan is we're going to cut that up so we can get a 16 mm pipe onto there we're going to run it out down the inside of the frame down here under the frame here and onto there but with that unscrewed we're going to thread this in and that isn't 16 millimeter so we're going to have to run an adapter as well so up in here somewhere we're going to have an adapter run 16 mil cable from up there down to there change it to 12 12 into there that's the oil return fee that's where it's going to go This is too long it's hitting the top of the rocker cover so what I'm going to do is cut this down a bit so I can get the pipe on there and get a bend on the pipe so it's away from the engine I've got the first part of the drain pipe attached I've cut this fitting down so it fits in a bit better put a lip on it so put a clip on there to seal it put the adapter on the other end so I can attach the other pipe onto it and it's ready to mount that back onto the bike the oil drain pipe is now on the bike Turbo and everything's fitted back on, so the pipe goes down over the top of the head, down behind the radiator. I've got the adapter in here, it goes from the 16mm pipe down to the 12mm pipe, and that's going to feed round there. That's going to tie up under there, so the pipe's going to go like that, and into the oil filler on the motor. The only problem I've got is this pipe's kinking here, so I'm going to have to change this pipe out for a stainless pipe, so it won't kink. But, the oil drain pipe is on. Got the steel braided line on now for the oil drain. I'm connected up to the root in so it fits underneath the fairings as well. So that's the plumbing for the oil finished. And the oil feed supply to the turbo is going to come from here. This is an M20 times 1mm fitting. And the plan is we're going to put a bend on here, up there, run it up under the frame, and it's going to come in on the front of here. In and under the top of the oil feed which is just there and that's an AM4 fitting so the problem I've got is I can only get an M20 by 1mm thread fitting on that in an AN10 which is massive three quarters of an inch I believe so we're gonna to have to modify this so it goes down to an AN4 fitting so I can run a pipe from here up to the turbo and we're also going to put a 90 degree bend on there with an AM4 fitting once we've got this modified. So this is the M20 by one to the AN10 fitting. We need it to AM4 fitting, so we need to go from that size to that size. So the plan is, got an M14 times 1.5 thread on there, the top for that. And the plan is, is we're going to run the top up the inside of there. Then we're going to machine the top of this off or cut it off or grind it off, however we do it. And the plan is for that into that fitting up there inside there like that. Then we can put the AN4 pipe, 90 degree pipe onto there 
and run the pipe up at the top of the turbo and that should be the oil feed done. There is a slight concern that threading this out might be awkward because it's anodized and there is a slight concern that we're going to have one joint then another joint then another joint then another joint off the 90 degree so we've got four potential points that this could leak as well when it's under pressure so I'm going to have to seal it up make sure this works really well if it doesn't we'll have to come up with a plan B So we've got this threaded out now, the uh, aim for threading just threads into there nicely. So what I've got to do now is cut this side of this off, clean that up so that threads in that way. Got it all finished now. Got the back all sanded off, filed off, nice and flat and finished out. It's all threaded all the way through and tapped out. That threads into it nicely. And what I've done is I've left a little gap inside of here yet. I don't know if you can see that on there. And uh, a bit of a gap in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide an O-ring seal up into there. Then when I thread that down into there, a bit of Loctite in it as well so it doesn't vibrate off. That'll seal up nice and tight in there. And there is your M20 times one to an AM4 fitting adapter made ready to go for the oil supply line to the turbo. And it fits spot on onto the motor, so all I have to do now is put a 90 degree bend onto here and that can run the pipe oil feed up to the turbo. So we've got the oil feed on the engine. So now what I need to do is fit this 90 degree bend onto here so I can run the oil pipe up to it and that's just a screw fitting onto there what I have to do is fit the AN4 pipe into here so we can run it up to the turbo So you thread the outer fitting onto the outside of the braided line. Then you get the fitting stuck in the socket, so you've got to knock the fitting out of the socket. So you end up with the nut bit threaded on the outside of the braided line so it's up to the little seated bit inside and we can see that then you get the fitting to go inside it and a drop of oil onto it just so it goes in easier spread that on just so it slides into the pipe a bit better like so and then basically thread that into the fitting like so. Now, what they recommend you do here is find your pen, put a line on the hose. Some people use tape. Then, once you've got it started, mark the pipe up, put it in a vise. Some people recommend putting Vice protectors on so you don't scratch the fittings but I don't care as long as the fitting works. Thread it in until it goes tight. Make sure it doesn't push the pipe out the back of the fitting. Shouldn't do. Once you can't turn it anymore by hand, 
put a spanner on it, tighten it up till it's fully in, fitted up and tight. one air and pipe fitting ready for the oil feed under the turbo and I just need to do the one on the other end then that's the oil feed done and the oil feed line to the turbo is now coming out running up I'm gonna pull this in a bit tight to up in here up behind the radiator up in front of the frame there and we're gonna put a fitting on here and attach that onto there with another air and four fitting and that is all the oil plumbing done on the motor and that's the oil feed now plumbed up onto the top of the turbo as well so all the oil is now getting in and out of the turbo so I've got the two flanges back now from the chain shop two holes in them plan is to now put them into them get them mounted up on the bike finish doing the rest of the exhaust so that's the first flange on now folded up fits lines up inside everything's lines up well spot weld this on and then start putting the pipe bends round ready to get it down to the exhaust so we've got that tacked into the flange now I need to get a pipe round here I've also got the other flange on the plan is, is to try and fit some bends in here somehow and we're going to have to potter about and work out the routing for these pipes so it's going to be a bit of fun got a couple more bends on the pipe now so it's coming round over the top of the plenum out the way of the blow off valve we can have a pipe coming down here plan is to have a bend here a bend here and then another bend and connect it onto there so it can come up from the manifold up here round onto there I've also on this big pipe welded on a fitting so that I can split it there so I can take the two pipes off the bike Got the whole exhaust tacked up in place now, it's all on, fitted onto the bike. I'm going to make a little bit of an infill piece in here but it's all tacked up. So now what I'm going to do is take it all off, put it onto the bench and then weld it up so it's all properly welded. Now the manifold of the turbo is all completed, fitted up and on up to the turbo. Now we need to get the exit side, the exhaust side from the turbo out. The original plan was to curve this round here, down there and down behind the radiator, but this is just going to be way too tight in here. So the plan now is to take this exhaust down here, down there, and if you can see it, in front of that radiator as well, just down in there. So that's the plan. I've modified the fairing so I can get the exhaust up in here because that piece in there stuck right out it was really close to the exhaust so I've cut that back so the fairings now fit now 
hate doing this on good standard fairings, but the fairing needs to fit, so I had to cut it, unfortunately. Finished modifying the fairing out, so I can get that pipe up there. I'm going to put some insulation in here just to protect the fairing. I might put a metal plate in there as well to keep some strength in it. And the exhaust is going to come up. So I've got the first bit done, now the plan is this PC is going to go into there slot down there just in front of the radiator down there this bit's too long so we have to cut this back about 20 mil so that sits back and it's just a case of cutting away put a bit more in, cut away and just keep tinkering away at it till it uh, all fits in, lines up going to make sure that the forks miss down here so that's got to come over there so the forks can still swing inside there Make sure when the wheel compresses that it's not going to hit the exhaust, that it's going to clear all the wheel and brakes and everything. You've got to make sure that the handlebar misses the exhaust, and you've got to make sure that the tank fits on it all. So it's taking a little bit of working out, but we're getting there. So the original idea was to go down there, I couldn't do it, it was too tight. So we're now going to come off, go down here. It's getting very tight down there. Have the pipe bend out of here, down here, and come out under here somewhere have the exit down here and lower so the heat's out of the way. Problem is, when the wheel's compressed up into there, when the forks are compressed, there's no space in any of this for any exhaust. So the plan now is, we're going to have the exhaust coming out of there now instead. And we'll have to make a heat shield to protect the plastic round here and try and prevent the exhaust gases away from the bike out of the way over here. So, plan C. So that's the hole in the fairings, so now I've got to do is put a bend on this pipe in there and that's going to be the exhaust outlet. And that is the exhaust all tacked up, all ready now just to finish welding up. I'm going to put a bit of a spout on here at some point, work out which way I'm going to point it but that's pretty easy to do. And that is all the exhaust on and it all fits underneath the tank. That's the two bits of the exhaust, so that one goes from the manifold through up there, around there, into the turbo comes out of the turbo, goes down here, out of there and exits out in the atmosphere